back to PRM Vlog. Uh, I'm David D. Bernie Sanders wins New Hampshire. So he won very uh, thinly, <laughs> very thin margin. Um, I think it might have been 2,000 votes approximately. Uh, back in Iowa, he won by 6,000. And uh, hey, a win is a win. Uh, Bernie is now officially the Democratic front runner after winning both states. Um, so Pete Buttigieg came in second. <clears throat> Amy Klobuchar came in third. Uh, you know, Pete put up some excellent numbers uh, in Iowa and New Hampshire, but there's good reasons for it. For, for the better part of a year, Pete's ground game has been focused on these two states almost exclusively. Like, Pete Buttigieg doesn't have any infrastructure uh, throughout any of the other states, uh, the early voting states. He only put his resources into Iowa and New Hampshire, and he maxed them out. So this is the reason why he got some good numbers. Uh, you know, that, that Bernie won by pretty thin margins. Um... So I think that's going to give people a lot of like, oh, whoa, this Pete Buttigieg guy, he's something to look out for. No, not really, because like I said, he put all of his efforts, all of his money, all of his political eggs in the Iowa and New Hampshire baskets uh, for the better part of a year. He built his infrastructure. His ground game was very strong, very productive, uh, and you know he got some really productive results. But it's 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 kind of like a sleight of hand, though. Uh, and when the ball gets rolling to Nevada uh, and South Carolina and California, where the the states have different demographics than New Hampshire and Iowa, which are predominantly white, you're going to see some. He's not going to be putting up those numbers unless unless people are buying that Pete Buttigieg is viable because he did he put up good numbers. He put up solid second place numbers. Um, you know, they might give him a second look. They may be like, whoa, this guy's a contender, but they might not know the context of why he's a contender. Um, and it, you know, like I said, it's a sleight of hand. It's like they don't really know the facts. They don't really know the context. Uh, he just didn't win those two states, it, I mean second place. Uh, out of nowhere, he really had a strategic ground game focused on those two states that are predominantly white. But nonetheless, Bernie wins. Bernie is the Democratic frontrunner. And, you know, let the gaslighting begin. MSM is going through so many awesome hoops right now. The mental gymnastics are just off the charts. Everybody's talking about uh, Amy Klobuchar's Clobentum. She she's in a strong third place. I swear, it's the headline right now. Uh, Amy Klobuchar gets third place. Reuters had uh, uh, what the Reuters had a headline that said second and third place go to Pete Buttigieg and Amy Klobuchar and showed their pictures, showed the crowds. Didn't even mention that Bernie won New Hampshire. Reuters. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's only going to get worse. The exclusionary behavior of the media, uh, you know, the gaslighting uh, of the media, the, the goalpost shifting of the media, anything they can do to avoid objective reality here. That Bernie Sanders is the Democratic front runner. Uh, <laughs> it's a beautiful thing to see because it's futile. Uh, they can't stop this. So it's just fun to watch them try. It's fun to watch them spin their tails and chase their tails. It's totally fruitless. It's not, the media is so out of touch with regular people. This is kind of like what happened in 2016 with Trump. They were totally out of touch. Totally, written, totally wrote off Trump. And uh, they weren't in touch with the people. Um, same thing with Bernie Sanders here. They're not in touch with the people. They're treating Bernie as a joke, uh, a, a, some sort of political anomaly, uh, j just anything to minimize our movements. And they they just 
they're, they're totally in denial. They're in absolute denial. Uh, and I find it hilarious. Uh, I get upset too, because it's not fair. It's totally not fair. Uh, but at the same time, it's going to do them in and it's going to prop Bernie up just like it propped up Donald Trump in the same way. So I'm here for it. I know you're here for it. Bernie Sanders, Democratic frontrunner. All right. So you guys excited? Let me know down in the comments. Uh, I'll meet you down there. Like, share, and subscribe. Click the bell. Let's do this.